In this demonstration, we're going to review how to determine whether a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. And what I'm going to do to determine the pH is I'm going to use universal indicator. Now, universal indicator has a broad range of colors. That's why they love to use it. It's universally used. And it's a mixture, I believe, of phenolphthalein, which gives us a red color toward the uh, basic end of the spectrum, and methyl red, which gives us a red color toward the acidic range of the spectrum to the left, and bromothymol blue, which will give us the yellow in the acidic, and also it'll give us the blue in the basic, and of course that in-between color of seven of green, because bromothymol blue will be at that point uh, green. So we got a whole range and spectrum of colors associated with these three indicators, and using the color coded behind the beakers, we can figure out what the pH is. So let's start with a salt, sodium chloride, table salt. And I'm going to dissolve some uh, sodium chloride with water and make an aqueous solution. And let's see if we can try to determine what the pH would be for this salt. Okay, it's making a solution, it's dissolving. And I want to see what the pH would be of this salt. Now, some salts are acidic, some are basic, and some are neutral. And what determines that is the ions in the salt. Are the ions conjugate acids or conjugate bases? So one way to look at this is looking at this from the neutralization standpoint. So if I was to um, do this and go to a blank screen here at some point, Okay, it touches on, touches off, touches on, and go to a blank screen. And I know it's going to be hard to see because I have two light colors, but if we look here, all right, if we take sodium chloride, let's see if we can see that, sodium chloride, it dissociates into Na plus and Cl negative. Now, we should know something. Cl negative is a conjugate base if you want to think of it that way, of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. There's about seven of them, and if you have a table of KAs, you can determine that. So HCl is a strong acid because it dissociates into an H plus and an NaCl negative. So HCl, because it dissociates completely into the proton, all right, we usually don't say it's equilibrium, it's a completion reaction to a proton and a chloride ion, well, if it dissociates completely, that means that this chloride ion has no ability to gain a proton from water. Because if you have CLs in water, let's put them over here. If you got CLs in water, you would think that if this was a good base, now it's negative, it would pull an H from water. But it can't do that. So conjugate bases of strong acids are spectators. Now, why is a chloride a spectator? It's a big ion, okay? It's, it, it, as we go across the periodic table, we notice the radius gets smaller, but when you gain an electron to become an ion, your atomic radius increases. And if your negative one is spread out over a large area, you can't attract an, a, a proton from a water enough to do this. So my friends in chemistry, Cl negative is just a spectator ion. Now Na plus is also a spectator ion. Why? Well, because Na plus is again a big ion. It got smaller by becoming an ion, but Na plus group one and group two ions are spectators because they're just too big and their plus one charge is spread o over a large area. Therefore, they have a tough time of yanking an H from the water. So, this is a neutral salt because the conjugate base of a strong acid and a group one ion that does, is always soluble, that is spectating because it's too big, this should come out green. So, let's add some universal indicator and it gives me the greenish color because of the bromothymol blue is yellow in acidic range and blue in the basic so I get this greenish color and this is a basic salt none of the ions have an ability now we can write this another way some people like to write uh, neutralization I mean hydrolysis reactions as the reverse of neutralization so let me just do it this way. So if we think of the acid reactions, let's go with um, uh, HCl. Let me 
So why am I picking that? Because it's the conjugate acid of Cl. Plus what? NaOH, and I'm picking the bases. I'm going to make, guess what? Sodium chloride and water. All this was is a double replacement reaction. This is neutralization this way. So you notice I got the salt of my acid and base is sodium chloride. Now if you think the reverse can happen, which it really does not, but if you want to think of it that way, the NaCl came from what? A strong acid and a strong base. Strong acid and strong base would neutralize each other to a 7 if you had the same amount. That's one way to think of it. Okay? So let's continue on our walk down this way, and let's go on with another salt. Let's do ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is NH4, NO3, and it dissociates into NH4 plus and NO3 minus. Now, you got to look at the what? Look at the ions. Do these ions have any ability to pull H's or hydrolyze water, make water into an ion or split it up into ions? Hydrolyze means splitting water. Well, NO3, my friends, comes from a strong acid. The strong acid is HNO3. So this is the conjugate base of nitric acid. So this comes from nitric acid, HNO3. And as we talked about before, conjugate bases of strong acids have no ability. So this is a spectator. Now, NH4, my friends, in chemistry is the conjugate acid of a weak base, NH3. So NH3 is a weak base, so its conjugate acid is pretty strong. So NH4 can give an H2 water to make H3O+. So NH4 plus has an ability to ionize water. So getting rid of all of this, okay, here we go. NH4 plus plus water, this can give an H, and we're going to make H3O+. Plus which is acidic. So let's add some universal indicator to ammonium nitrate. All right, and let's do that. So here's some ammonium nitrate, and add some water to it. And it's very soluble because nitrates are very soluble. You've got four atoms spreading a negative one charge. So their Coulombic attractive forces are not going to be strong. So it definitely loves to dissolve. Let's add the universal indicator. And it should be in the red range. And there it is. Very acidic. For reasons we explained. The NH4 plus can give an H to the lone pair of electrons and coordinate covalent bond. Okay, now, let's consider one more reaction. All right, let's consider. Now again, this reaction in its completion, or its best way for me to write it, is NH4 plus plus water. It's got a lone pair, two lone pairs. Okay, this H is donated. We make what? NH3, uh, ammonia gas, plus we make H3O plus. And because you make the H3O plus, that's what decreases my pH. Okay, next compound. And we don't my little demonstration slash tutorial. Okay, is um, uh, sodium phosphate. Sodium phosphate breaks apart into three sodium ions that are spectating, group one ions are always spectating, plus this phosphate ions, PO4-3. Now where does PO4-3 come from? Well it comes from essentially H3PO4, which is a weak acid. So this is a strong conjugate base. Okay, so PO4-3 really attracts electron, or I say protons, so water hanging out, mind its own business, these electron deficient H's, are attracted to this negative three, and so what we make is hydroxides, and here's the reaction. We take PO4, or phosphate ion, negative three, plus water, and this yanks a proton away, 
So we make the HPO4, now it's minus 2 because it gained a proton, plus a hydroxide. And this, of course, increases the pH. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's add some sodium phosphate for white salt. Doesn't have a transitional element. Dissolve it. And let's add some universal indicator. And we should see colors that make the phenolphthalein and the blue make a purple color. The phenolphthalein and the blue, phenolphthalein from uh, the, the pink color from phenolphthalein and the blue color from bromothymol blue mix makes the blue color. And there we go with our, we have a basic salt for NaCl, acidic salt for the ammonium nitrate, and the uh, base, sorry, the neutral salt for sodium chloride, the acidic salt for the ammonium nitrate, and the basic salt for the uh, sodium phosphate. Interesting enough, let's pour some together. Let's take these out. All right, let's take a beaker. And let's start with some ammonium nitrate, which is acidic. And it's red. And now I'm going to add, add some of the basic blue here. And look what we get. We get our green color, just like our sodium chloride. Okay, add too much. And we get our, so basically we neutralize the solution with two salts that have ions that act as what? Acids and bases. So we got the green neutral color by mixing ammonium nitrate and sodium phosphate together. Hope that helped.